thank you for listening. Um, earlier today, I made a joke on Twitter, you know, about there's manspreading and there's mansplaining. And I think there should be a new one called Man Blaming when men get the blame for everything, right? Men, a man, or the patriarchy, right? Um, and this this article on the, the Daily Mail it is the perfect example of what I'm talking about, right? Now, I can't show you the headline just yet because it will kind of spoil it. So what I'm going to tell you is what it's about, right? I think it was like in the middle of the year this happened, right? But this is from today's uh, 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 paper, Daily Mail uh, article. Now, to explain <laughs> to explain what happened, right? Just to, just to to give you a picture of what happened, right? Um, there was a a drinks reception, right, held at the Hilton Hotel in Manchester on May the fifth. This is this is when it happened, right? Now, it was for police officers and they were attending the Senior Women in Policing Conference, right? So, just to be clear, it's for police and it was specifically for senior women in police, right? It wasn't just females that attended. It was a mixture of police, but the whole event was about female seniors in the police force, right? (laughs) This is so... Astonishing! It is astonishing, truly astonishing. When I seen this, I, I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, it. It's one of those, you know, I've said before, it's one of those things, it's it's unbelievable, yet believable, right? Uh, so what happened was, um, there was two police officers, two female police officers at the Senior Women Police Conference, right? One was a a regular officer, uh, and one was her superior, right? So, um, uh, Sutcliffe, she's the junior, right? Um, and Jackson, she's the senior, right? And what happened was the junior mocked the senior. The, the two of them, remember, they were, were not on duty, right? This is another thing to be clear. They're not on duty. This is a night out where they're drinking, they're getting drunk, they're having a laugh, you know, it's a dance, a drink, you know, it's, it's just a regular night out. They are not on duty. And another important factor is they are not infants, right? But So the younger one, while they were drinking at the bar, the younger one mocked the older one saying, Uh, calling her a laughing stock because she'd had a boob job. (laughs) Bearing her own chest, she said, These are the breasts of someone who has had three children. They are ugly, but I don't feel the need to pump myself full of silicone to get self-esteem. Now, a disciplinary panel last week found her guilty of gross misconduct, but she was allowed to keep her job, right? So... (laughs) So that's the whole story, basically, right? That's basically what happened. So we've got a we've got a, a party celebrating senior women in the police force. We have two women at the party getting drunk, and one saying something nasty about another, and then whipping her tits out, right? And that's that's another thing as well. It's a, a women's conference type of thing. It's two women that are involved in this. They're talking about boobs. <laughs> It's the most, like, feminine subject ever, right? It's the most female thing ever. They're talking about tits. She gets her tits out, and then she's disciplined, but she doesn't lose her job. That's the whole story, right? Now to show you... (laughs) This is fucking unbelievable. This is the world we live in, I swear. Now to show you the, the headline, right? The headline is... Drunk and disroberly. Chief Constable blamed for Boobgate Row after leaving his drunk breast-bearing assistant at the bar so he could enjoy a free night at a luxury hotel. Chief Constable of Greater Manchester Police admitted leaving his assistant, Chief Rebecca Sutcliffe, at a bar despite knowing she was drunk. (laughs) Remember, she's not an infant. She's a grown woman. She's a senior. She's an adult. A senior in the police force. He went to enjoy a free night stay at a luxury hotel rather than see her back, uh, see her back to her room. 
After Mr Hopkins left, AAC Sutcliffe mocked Superintendent Jackson's boob job. Disciplinary panel Sutcliffe, uh, guilty of gross misconduct, but she kept her job. So, one of Britain's most senior police officers has been blamed for the bizarre breast-bearing scandal that humiliated his force. Ian Hopkins... <laughs> The Chief Constable of Greater Manchester Police, who really must be sitting going, What the fuck did I do? <laughs> what the fuck's he going to do with me? Jesus! Admitted leaving his assistant, Chief Rebecca Sutcliffe, at a bar, despite knowing she was drunk. You know, cause, because she's a baby. And he's her minder, you know? <laughs> well, I, I don't know how any woman can read this article and not be offended. I just think it's funny, but w women must be offended at this or there is something wrong with you. He went to enjoy a free night stay in a luxury hotel rather than ensuring that she went to bed to be ready for duty a few hours later because he's her father. <laughs> Instead, he told Superintendent Sarah Jackson to keep an eye on ACC Sutcliffe despite Jackson being her junior. So, he's tired, he's want he wants to go to bed. Right. It doesn't matter that it's a free hotel, by the way. That That's completely irrelevant. He's tired, he wants to go to bed. Look, man, she's getting a bit drunk. You keep your eye on her, no problem, done. Right. The superior officer, inferior officer, that doesn't matter. They're off duty. None of that matters. <laughs> it's the man's fault. Man blaming. It's the man's fault. So I told you this bit about uh, what, what actually happened. Um, Last night, sources said that Mr Hopkins' failure to take charge of the situation was to blame for the incident. He's to blame for what happened between two grown women who chose to drink, who chose to go on this night out about women police officers. He's, it's his fault. It's his fault. <laughs> That's just a perfect example of man-blaming. One insider told the Mail on Sunday... Uh, we don't know who the insiders are, but it's just the fact that this even made th this article. It's just it's unbelievable. It's like a, it's a massive troll from the Daily Mail just to wind women up, I think. Um, which first revealed the extraordinary incident in May. Hopkins is at the very centre of this scandal. His failure to deal with Sutcliffe on the night created the mess. See? Because he's in charge of her. Now imagine he did take charge and go, right, you, bed. You've had enough to drink. I wonder how they would have ran with that story. <laughs> Another source added, Without doubt, Hopkins had a duty to challenge and address Sutcliffe's behaviour. As the most senior officer present, to leave this task to Sarah Jackson is unforgivable. Well, again, and that's something that's important here is they were off duty, right? He wasn't, he wasn't giving her an order to keep his her eye on the other woman. He was just saying, look, keep your eye on her. You know, she's getting a bit drunk or whatever. Keep your eye on her. She's making a fool of herself. He wasn't actually giving her, it wasn't like he was giving her an order. They were off duty. If if Hopkins had unambiguously ordered Sutcliffe to leave and made sure she did, the whole sordid mess wouldn't have happened. Quite simple. Now, just imagine that is what happened. Imagine on a night out when they're not on duty, he says to her, right, I need to make sure you leave and I need to make sure you go to bed. You know, uh, <laughs> I mean, could you imagine the fucking outrage from women if that happened? Uh, Mr Hopkins' little-noticed statement to last week's humiliating disciplinary hearing revealed his central role in the drama. He had hosted a drinks reception at the Sky Bar of the Hilton Hotel in Manchester early in the evening of May the 5th for officers attending the Senior Women in Policing Conference. Organisers paid for his... A hotel room, dinner, as well as giving him a box of chocolates and a £10 notebook and pen set. Right, okay, so the organisers of this event gave him some freebies. Big deal. It, just, it really doesn't mean anything. I mean, it hardly even adds up. It doesn't even add up to £200. Give her a rest. Do you know what I mean? It's not that bad, is it? It's not as if he's taken the piss, you know, and got everybody in the force a free room at the Hilton. Come on. It was apparent from speaking to Rebecca that she had been drinking. The Chief Constable said in his statement, I was slightly concerned she was walking back to the hotel on her own. I asked Superintendent Jackson to keep an eye on her, but when I left to go to my room, ACC Sutcliffe was in the bar area. She was at this point preparing to walk to her hotel. Again, she's a grown woman. 
not only a grown woman, she's a fucking police officer. For fuck's sake, I think, I think she can take care of herself. I think this adult female is able to take care of herself. The adult female who has chosen of her own free will to get drunk. I'm pretty certain she can take care of herself. Why do we... Why don't we not patronise her and treat her like a toddler? Why don't we treat her like an adult? Why, hey, why not push the boat out? Why not treat her like a man? It's exactly like you would treat an adult man. You wouldn't ever talk about men like this. Don't disrespect women by talking about them in that way. It's disgusting, patronising, so it is. According to Superintendent... I, I say Superintendent, S-U-P-T... Is that what that means? I'm just going to go with that anyway. According to Superintendent Jackson, 45, Mr Hopkins told her, Please don't leave me alone with Rebecca. She is drunk and she is driving me mad. She said the Chief Constable was irritated and told Suckliff to go to bed, but the Assistant Chief ignored his request and said she was staying up and having some more wi- uh, some more to drink, so she disobeyed an order, <laughs> an off-duty order. See, so he did, he did say, you know... <sighs> Oh no, she she did say actually. Sorry, it's not it's not him. Um, um, I know Mr. Hopkins told her. No, sorry, I'm getting confused here. It was him that said it, so he actually did say to her, "Look, go to bed," but she ignored him. So what else is he supposed to do? Force her? I mean, come on. A grown woman, for fuck's sake. The Chief Constable is also accused of trying to hush up the night that brought ridicule to Greater Manchester Police, England's second biggest force. He initially he initially wanted to deal. Uh, with the shocking incident as a welfare issue, the disciplinary panel was told, which would have meant no one outside the force would ever have known about it. It was only after discussing it with another senior officer that he agreed it had to be treated more seriously. Sutcliffe was found guilty of gross misconduct by the panel, which recommended she be given a final written warning rather than losing her job, after hearing glowing testimonies from high-profile supporters. Uh, but... Um, and it's now it's they're saying that the pictures have been released about her looking worse for wear at a party. How about we don't judge how someone looks at a party? I'm sure we've all been to a party and made a right cunt of ourselves, and we wouldn't like that those photos of that being plastered all over the media. So why don't we give her a break there? But this is just, thankfully, right? Thankfully, the the comments, the people in the comments, are, they're totally agreeing with me. The first one, let's find a man to blame. Uh, anyone would think he had left his 13 year old daughter alone and drunk in a bar since when is she not responsible herself for what she did she needs to resign well I don't think she needs to resign you know <laughs> she she needs doesn't need to, people need to stop treating her like a child um, if this adult female senior police officer needs looking after perhaps she isn't capable of the job she was given to be fair it wasn't her that said you know, it wasn't actually her that said he should have been looking after me. It's other people that are saying it. Um, or at least the Daily Mail are saying other people said that they might just be making it up. It always has to be a man's fault, doesn't it? Pretty much. Pretty much. Unless it's something good. Because you can bet your fucking boots if that same night some guy came in and tried to rob the hotel or something, right? Some kind of shit that would happen in a movie. Um, and they, you know handcuffed them and put them in, in jail they'd be heroes, they wouldn't be going oh well where's the nearest guy to give credit to for that, no they'd, they'd get full credit, but when they make a cunt of themselves, it's a man's fault it's a man's fault, it's always a man's fault Um, I I wondered how long it would take them to find a man to blame and it goes on like this it's, it's, it's so, so many of them, I mean a lot of them are saying she should resign and the police are a disgrace and all that but this is, it's, it's really nothing to do with the police they were off duty and they're having a night out but it's just, to me this is just so fantastic, it's just it, it's got everything it's got every, it's blaming men for something that only women are involved in, at a women event that involves tits it, it, it involves it's about tits it's at a women event, it's only women that are involved, and they blame a man for it. 
It's, it's, and they treat women like children, you know. And just to be fair to the women involved, they're not saying that he's to blame. They're not saying, hey, we're just babies, we need somebody to take care of us. I would imagine if they read this, they would be, be fucking very offended at being spoken about like that. But um, <laughs> just, I just think it's funny. Even though they're blaming a man, I'm not annoyed at that. I just, it's, it's getting so ridiculous now. It's, it's getting so fucking ridiculous now. That we now have headlines like this where they say, oh, he, he's to blame for what happened between two women. In a, in a scandal that they've labelled boob gate. Everything's gate, isn't it? Oh, God, everything's fucking gate. But um, they've labelled it boob gate and it's still a man's fault. Un fucking believable. Anyway, I'll, I'll leave a link to the article below and you can check it out for yourself. There's tons of comments. Oh, oh, similar. All of them similar. Uh, thankfully, all of them similar. There was only one I seen that was blaming, you know, him. Uh, so it's not as bad as the, the articles making out, but <sighs> ladies, please be offended at this. Not at me, at this. It's, it's so disgusting the way you're being treated. So disgusting. But thank you very much for listening. Until next time. <laughs> it's the most like feminine subject ever, right? It's the most female thing ever. They're talking about tits. She gets her tits out and then she's disciplined but she doesn't lose her job. That's the whole story, right? Now to show you <laughs> this is fucking unbelievable. This is the world we live in, I swear. Now to show you the the headline, right? The headline is Drunk and Disroberly. Chief Constable blamed for boobgate row after leaving his drunk breast-bearing assistant at the bar so he could enjoy a free night at a luxury hotel. Chief Constable of Greater Manchester Police admitted leaving his assistant, Chief Rebecca Sutcliffe, at a bar despite knowing she was drunk. <laughs> Remember, she's not an infant. She's an, a grown woman. She's a senior. She's an adult. A senior in the police force. He went to enjoy a free night stay at a luxury hotel rather than see her back. Uh, see her back to her room. After Mr Hopkins left, AAC Sutcliffe mocked Superintendent Jackson's boob job. Disciplinary panel Sutcliffe, uh, guilty of gross misconduct, but she kept her job. So, one of Britain's most senior police officers has been blamed for the bizarre breast-bearing scandal that humiliated his force. Ian Hopkins, <laughs> the Chief Constable of Greater Manchester Police, who really must be sitting going, What the fuck did I do? <laughs> what the fuck's he going to do with me? Jesus! Admitted leaving his assistant, Chief Rebecca Sutcliffe, at a bar, despite knowing she was drunk. You know, cause, because she's a baby. And he's her minder, you know? <laughs> what a, I don't know how any woman can read this article and not be offended. I just think it's funny, but w women must be offended at this or there's something wrong with you. He went to enjoy a free night stay in a luxury hotel rather than ensuring that she went to bed to be ready for duty a few hours later because he's her father. <laughs> Instead, he told Superintendent Sarah Jackson to keep an eye on ACC Sutcliffe despite Jackson being her junior. So, he's tired, he's want he wants to go to bed. Right. It doesn't matter that it's a free hotel, by the way. That That's completely irrelevant. He's tired, he wants to go to bed. Look, man, she's getting a bit drunk. You keep your eye on her, no problem, done. Right? The superior officer, inferior officer, that doesn't matter. They're off duty. None of that matters. <laughs> it's the man's fault. Hi, thank you for listening. Um, earlier today, I made a joke on Twitter, you know, about there's manspreading and there's mansplaining. And I think there should be a new one called Man Blaming when men get the blame for everything, right? Men, a man, or the patriarchy, right? Um, and this this article on the, the Daily Mail, it is the perfect example of what I'm talking about right now I can't show you the headline just yet because it will kind of spoil it so what I'm going to tell you is what it's about right I think it was like in the middle of the year this happened right but this is from today's uh, uh, paper Daily Mail uh, article 
Now, to explain to explain what happened, right? Just to, just to to give you a picture of what happened, right? Um, there was a a drinks reception, right? Held at the Hilton Hotel in Manchester on May the fifth. This is this is when it happened, right? Now, it was for police officers, and they were attending the Senior Women in Policing Conference, right? So, just to be clear, it's for police, and it was specifically for senior women in police, right? It wasn't just females that attended. It was a mixture of police, but the whole event was about female seniors in the police force, right? (laughs) This is... So astonishing! It is astonishing, truly astonishing. When I seen this, I I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, it. It's one of those, you know, I've said before. It's one of those things. It's it's unbelievable, yet believable, right? Uh, so what happened was um, there was two police officers, two female police officers at the senior women police conference, right? One was a a regular officer, uh, and one was her superior, right? So, um, uh, Sutcliffe, she's the junior, right? Um, and Jackson, she's the senior, right? And what happened was the junior mocked the senior. The, the two of them, remember, they were, were not on duty, right? This is another thing to be clear. They're not on duty. This is a night out where they're drinking, they're getting drunk, they're having a laugh, you know, it's a dance, a drink, you know, it's, it's just a regular night out. They are not on duty. And another important factor is they are not infants, right? But So the younger one, while they were drinking at the bar, the younger one mocked the older one saying... Uh, calling her a laughing stock because she'd had a boob job. <laughs> Bearing her own chest, she said, These are the breasts of someone who has had three children. They are ugly, but I don't feel the need to pump myself full of silicon to get self esteem. Now, a disciplinary panel last week found her guilty of gross misconduct, but she was allowed to keep her job, right? So. <laughs> So that's the whole story, basically, right? That's basically what happened. So we've got a we've got a, a party celebrating senior women in the police force. We have two women at the party getting drunk, and one saying something nasty about another, and then whipping her tits out, right? And that's that's another thing as well. It's a, a women's conference type of thing. It's two women that are involved in this. They're talking about boobs. <laughs>